Hello everybody, it's Bacon Donut here, back with another Sky Factory tutorial, yes! If you want to know more about what Sky Factory is, or how to get it, go back and watch episode one of this series. Basically, it's a mod pack that I made, and uh, I'm showing you how to play it. So, today, we're gonna do this right here. Use autonomous activators to automate a sieve. Now, <clears throat> we've got some some tech stuff coming up very soon and we're gonna lot uh, we're gonna want a lot more resources than what we have had so far and automating that is going to be an important step uh so but before we get to that let me just show you how we i've reorganized some things i've moved the tree farm because these trees were in the way i was feeling cramped here so i built a little platform over on this side and put the trees over there and uh i also Extended I moved the elevator here. So it's kind of central to these spots and uh, just extended this platform a bit So there's a the platform here and this goes over underneath the mob farm and we're gonna make a different farm over there in a future video and uh, So then if we come back over here, you can see I've I've rearranged this a bit There's a lot more cobble because we've made it a little bit bigger and uh, we automated this in a previous video and uh, I've got this pipe coming down here all right so let's take a look at the activator so if you look up activator right there autonomous activator basically this thing emulates a player so it can right and right click and left click and shift click for you automatically and uh, the recipe is pretty simple a couple pieces of tin a piston and a servo which is iron redstone glass all of that is easily obtainable by using the hammer to to hammer on uh, various things and sift them so uh, previous videos should teach you how to do that pretty cheap pretty easy to, to get so this here is our automatic cobble system right we've got the cobble gen and uh, the pipe is going to come through here so any inventory thing that i put here is going to fill up with cobble thanks to this pipe so i'm going to put this activator right there the, that thing indicates the, the side of the block that's doing the work. And uh, the back side here is what we're going to do for input. So first thing I have to do is change this because orange is output, blue is input. So if we want cobble to come in, I have to change this to blue. And you're going to see um, cobble is now automatically going to start getting in there. And look, there's a cobble. This thing placed that co cobble block down automatically and because uh, by default it right clicks if you want it to left click like use a tool you just switch to left click right there um okay so here's what we're going to do i want to take a second activator and put it back here Boom. and i did it like that so that the business end would be in the front and we're going to switch this to left click and you can see already it's starting to break that but there's no tool in it so it's going to just lose the cobble when it's done breaking it and uh, nothing's going to be gained so we're going to just take some stone hammers here and we're going to put in there so now it's using the hammer to break the cobble and look boom right there i've got a gravel now if we want to op automate this then we need a way to collect the gravel so that it doesn't just fall on the ground right and that's what this thing is for the vacuum hopper you can see those little pop particles there this hopper is going to automatically any item that drops in the in the vicinity is going to get sucked up by that thing and then i'm going to show you how to have it pipe stuff out so to make that um vacuum right here vacuum hopper pretty cheap one piece of obsidian a previous video shows you how to make that uh, an ender pearl, which you can get from the mob farm, which you should all already have. You should have a lot of ender pearls by now if you've been visiting the mob farm. And, of course, a hopper, which is just iron and a chest. Um, okay, so this thing is now collecting gravel for us. And uh, we're going to... The, the goal is to automate sieving, right? So here's... And there's lots of ways to design this. This is just one way to do it. It works and it's pretty simple so another activator here and uh ow ow choo choo please are you serious right now stop it ow no no da rage okay anyway 
We've recovered from sudden choo-choo attack. <laughs> As I was saying, there's a, lot, there's a number of ways to set all this up. I'm just going to show you one method. And you could even make it simpler than this. You don't need this many activators. Um, let's pull the blocks out of there that I was carrying. So we got a fair amount of gravel. All right. So if you click this tab right here and you hold right click and drag this thing around, this gives you a 3D view of the block. And all you do is left click on a side to make that little thing appear. And see, there it is, it, IRL. So that's basically the output. And um, you can do the same thing. This thing also collects XP, and you can output it the same way. Um, but we're just interested in the item. So we're going to tell this thing to put all the gravel into this guy. And again, you have to turn this to input in order for the gravel to actually get there. And boom, just like that, it put the gravel down. Now, uh, we don't want the gravel to be placed on the ground. We want the gravel to go into the sieve. And look, right like that, it's done it. So already it has placed the gravel into there and it's automatically sifting. And if we just wait a minute, it'll be done. And we can see, uh, oh, nothing, <laughs> nothing came out of it that time. RNG, please. All right, come on. Uh, there it is. We got a couple of drops. Nice. Um, okay. And so to make sure that um, this hopper doesn't pick up the drops from that. We're going to put another vacuum hopper on top of it. So this guy is going to pick up all the drops that come out of here. And, uh, then all you have to do is put some sort of chest right on top of it. And, uh, you'll be good to go. Like that. And like that. Nice. Okay. And then we remember the output. We have to tell this thing to output into the chest and there you have it automatic sifting and dropping and with that we can say that we have used an autonomous activator to automate a sieve and so the cobble is automatically generated goes into here gets automatically broken goes into here then into the sieve and if you want to speed up the sieve you can put more activators onto it uh too far i'll fix it later Boom. So you can put activators on all four sides and the bottom if you make a, a wrench. And let's see, what are the options? All three of these are craftable. Uh, and also the crescent hammer, uh, which is right there. All of those would, uh, would allow you to turn which direction these things are facing. You can put one on the floor and have it pace, facing up, which would get you five of these touching it, and each one just makes uh, makes it sift faster. And uh, that's all you gotta do. You're gonna have lots of metals coming in, and you can make a longer system with more of them to uh, do the next stages. So you could have uh, ones to make gravel, another step to make sand another step to make dust etc architect it however you want go crazy with it and feel free to to tweet me pictures of what your setup is at uh at bacon donut tv and also be sure to check out my live streams I, you can find me playing minecraft sky factory and other things over at twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut monday through friday almost daily and be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you liked this video and i will be back next time with another tutorial bye guys bye